What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Killer HD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. Now, as most of you already know, earlier today Rockstar Games uploaded the official gameplay video part two, something that we've been waiting for about two months, but now it's finally here. We already uh, discussed and broke down a lot of this within a live stream, but today I wanted to collect a lot of the information and some of the secrets coming from this video that is just around four minutes and a half long. Now, I actually did mention this within my first video but Rockstar Games did provide a description and I quickly want to go over it. It says, watch the second half of our Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay series and first line is important because this confirms that there isn't going to be any more parts to this series. Maybe that was obvious because of how late that this is coming but there's the confirmation. There obviously will probably be a Red Dead Online gameplay trailer of some sorts coming later on. I'm not sure if that's going to come before or after release for the single player so that would be be interesting and then obviously there will be a launch trailer but yes this is our last big look at the game before it releases there definitely will be more information coming about probably some more in-depth details on weapons rival gangs and so on and so forth but this is our last big look in terms of gameplay footage but the description goes on saying outlining all sorts of nefarious activities Arthur and the Vanderlyn gang can get involved in including robbing trains encountering rival gangs and outlaws evading cunning lawmen and lots more in a world that is deep, teeming with life, and very menacing. Today's video also includes a look at the new and expanded Deadeye system and was captured entirely from in-game footage. Now furthermore, that's actually where this gameplay video starts out. It's in the city of Rhodes at the train station and it looks like Arthur Morgan's just conducting a normal train robbery. This is something that we can do in free roam mode. This isn't linked just to a mission, so it's going to be a lot of fun to do this. Not necessarily just in single player, but also Red Dead Online. But following this scene, it moves to I believe a story mission. Mission. It looks like some sort of oil field that's burning and Arthur Morgan and Sadie Adler and it looks like there's another gang member in the background. They're making their way there and then they encounter an enemy that Arthur Morgan takes out and interestingly a character that we haven't seen before shows up. Some people think that this is Nastas from Red Dead Redemption because of that red scarf that he has. I'm not too sure. I don't think every character is going to be connected to Red Dead Redemption. I think a lot of people have been doing that. This character has to be this person but I think that this just could be a new Native American character. It doesn't look any bit like Charles Smith, but I'm sure that we'll get some context once we play the game. But I will mention that this trailer kind of goes a little bit everywhere, because the next scene we can see Arthur Morgan sporting a long, nice, beautiful beard, and he's making his way through some snow, and you can just see how deep his feet are in there, and I just love the physics that Rockstar has developed for this game. But continuing on, something that I found very interesting on the minimap is the chalk yellow color. This indicates points of interest, probably story connected, and Arthur Morgan obviously makes his way and he gets hit. But it seems like in Red Dead Redemption 2, this is our story marker and our waypoint of where to go. Now moving just a little bit forward, we actually get a look at another train robbery, and this is actually connected directly to the main story, and this is from the early part of the game. Some of the people who have wrote up some gameplay previews, who got an early look at this game and experienced like two or three hours of Red Dead Redemption 2, have mentioned that this is exactly how it goes. Pretty much Arthur Morgan and Dutch's gang gets ready for a train robbery, and and then Arthur Morgan tries to blow up some dynamite and it, things go wrong. And then the honor and dishonor system comes into play. And this is where we get our first choice of how we wish to play as Arthur Morgan. And there will be consequences for whatever way we choose. But like I said before, this gameplay trailer is everywhere. Because next it proceeds to St. Denise and we see a big robbery going on. And we can actually see the person that's guarding this bank. I believe that's a Lancaster rifle. He gets taken down and the gang obviously makes their way through the bank and there's just it, a lot of chaos that happens. But I will say I really do like the creative disguises that they have on and Bill Williamson with a suit, that does doesn't work, does not work at all. And just to show some of the interactions and things that we can do within the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, like Grand Theft Auto 5, we can walk into any general gun store and hold it up. Obviously, Arthur Morgan here robbing the man. But if you actually look down, that little book is our key to customization. We're gonna have a lot of options. There's said to be 30 pages of clothing that we can choose from. And with weapons, I'm sure it'll be just as much. And right after that, in the next scene, we can see another type of robbery 
robbery. We can see obviously an NPC sleeping and Arthur Morgan just quietly coming in and examining the medicine chest for maybe anything valuable. And there will be consequences again for doing something like this. The NPC could wake up, maybe not. And then even then the reaction could be dynamic. Either they could be aggressive, grab a shotgun out and try to kill you, or they could run out and try to find the local sheriff. But what's fascinating about this next shot is obviously it just looks massive. You can see the rain clouds. You can just see a lot of different places in the distance. But if you look really far away, it looks like we can see the big port town of St. Denise. Just a really great shot. And Rockstar Games has done a great job at capturing a lot of them. But I want to proceed to this individual who is obviously beating on somebody. I have a feeling that this may be Landon Ricketts, but I'm not quite sure. We know that Landon Ricketts will be appearing in Red Dead Redemption 2. There's kind of no way that he doesn't appear because the Blackwater Massacre is how this game starts out and, and Landon was on the opposing side of Dutch's gang. He was helping the lawmen. He was not an actual lawman. I think a lot of people get confused about that. He was a vigilante. But yes, he was pretty much a good guy with a gun. Now, some people think that this NPC has to be just a normal person and why is he beating on him? There's numerous reasons this could be somebody helping the gang, but I do think that this possibly is Landon and I know some people are going to bring up that his voice actor passed away I don't see a reason why they wouldn't recast especially since he there is some story importance and as we discussed in one of my recent videos it appears that Rockstar Games is paying their respects to the voice actor Ross Hagen who passed away in 2011 and they're doing this by naming one of the regions in the game after him. But either way, I think that this is a very good possibility that this is Landon Ricketts. In 1899, he was just about to retire. Only three years later, he retired because he didn't want to live the lifestyle anymore. And he was always an old man. We don't know his exact age within Red Dead Redemption, but remember, he passed away just a few years after that. And I would still expect in 1899 for him to be a little bit older. And obviously in this scene, his hair is a little bit shorter, his mustache a little shorter. So I think... I think Think this is Landon Ricketts. Now if you're watching my live stream from earlier today, I was convinced that this had to be Nuevo Perez, so it had to be the confirmation that Mexico is back, but it actually looks like it is Armadillo. Some people on Reddit have mapped it up and it, it quite literally looks just like Armadillo and the floorboards match up. So yes, it does confirm that New Austin is back to an extent. Some people aren't sure if we're actually going to be able to free roam there, so that'll be interesting. Some people thinking it still could be just like a North Yankton type of deal. But this is a lawman. Marshall Lay Johnson took over in 1897, so this could be a deputy and maybe Arthur Morgan has to help out the marshal by taking down these uh, Mexican gang members. Now the interesting thing is around this time there was border wars, I guess, so Mexican gang members would actually come to the United States and wreak havoc so maybe that is something that comes into play Arthur Morgan's uh, asked to help out maybe get rid of the local gang that's wreaking havoc on the people of Armadillo and just of New Austin so that may actually be the only way that we see the influence of Mexican culture within Red Dead Redemption 2. Now to speculate a little bit further, based on the pre-order bonuses that we got back in June, this is probably the Del Lobos gang. I don't think that we're going to see multiple Mexican gangs, but it is good to see that Rockstar Games is including it at least a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to see Nuevo Perez, so I'm starting to become convinced that it's just going to be New Austin and the rest of the map that we've already been discussing for the last two years that was leaked back in 2016. Now we also get a great look at Blackwater. This is during the daytime. But I think a lot of people are confused by the mountains in the background. Rockstar Games has made some adjustments and it's not going to be completely how it was in Red Dead Redemption. That's important to note. But moving a little bit further on, we have a scene where Arthur Morgan gets ambushed by two enemies. And if you actually look at their faces, you can see the bruising and you can see the blood. It's just, some people were worried about gore within Red Dead Redemption to and just from this one scene it's it's clear that it's it's in play it certainly is and again after that we get a great look at Deadeye Rockstar kind of just described it perfectly but I will bring us to this one scene where it's just when Deadeye triggers you can see the effects of it with limb dismemberment and look at that horse and look at its leg just be flown off and yeah so again you're worried about gore it's in place and Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be a very bloody game and uh, yeah 
not much else I can really add about this. And to continue with the effects of Deadeye, we actually get to see the highlighted organs and yes, you can shoot somebody in the nuts. That, that's a feature within Red Dead Redemption 2. The NPC's reactions, I think that's going to be fascinating. But right after that, we actually see Arthur Morgan dual wielding two different weapons, so that's confirmed. Very, very cool. And then we get another great look at the big town of St. Denis. There's just so much going on. Multiple stagecoaches traveling through the town. You can see various NPCs walking around. Then you have some beggars, you have a dog, you have a woman sweeping. Just so much life, so much energy. There's probably going to be a lot of different things that we can do within this town. We've already seen one of them, which is probably going to be a big bank robbery. And in the next scene, we actually go back to the town of Rhodes. In the far background, there's a huge statue. I find this statue very interesting. I mentioned this in the live stream from earlier today, and the statue is of some mysterious individual. It has to be Levictus Cornwall. He seems to be like the robber baron of this game. That's one of the early missions. It starts off with, who the hell is Levictus Cornwall? And he seems to be a man of importance, and he's probably going to be the, I think he's going to be one of the big antagonists of the game. I'm not going to say the main one, because I'm not quite sure about that. Red Dead Redemption obviously had multiple. But I would not be surprised to see that Levictus Cornwall gets robbed by Dutch's gang multiple times, which leads him to call in the Pinkerton agents, and that's how the story starts with the Pinkertons coming into the fold and going after Dutch's gang. But here we actually get a great look at some of the weapon customization. If you notice, Arthur Morgan has different types of holsters throughout this gameplay video, but we also see that the weapons look completely different. There's different engravings, there's different grips, just very, very cool, the detail, and the different types of ways that we'll be able to customize our weapons. And then we have Arthur Morgan all dirtied up with mud all over him. It looks like he maybe you just got into a fight, but this isn't right outside of Valentine. We saw that within one of the recent images that we discussed. This seems to be a place that we can sell and buy livestock and probably also store our horses and maybe take care of them. And then finally we do have confirmation of boats. Now we still don't really have any gameplay footage of swimming that has been confirmed from the various gameplay previews. All it's been said is that Arthur Morgan can't swim well and he can't really go underwater so there seems to be no underwater exploration but at least we can ride boats and probably travel about the huge map. And we still don't know anything about huge boats, if that'll be possible, but we do know we can ride a canoe. And after Rockstar Games showed off some of the various activities that we can do, like dominoes, five-finger fillet, fishing, we get to see one of the random encounters. It looks like two jail members fighting. And very, very interesting, but remember, within Red Dead Redemption, they were extremely wacky, and I don't expect that to be different within this game. And just a really cool detail that I wanted to point out, when Arthur Morgan gets to come watch a show he can actually choose to cheer or antagonize but I just love the fact that there's so much interactivity within this game like every different scene there's a chance to interact and do something and I do wonder if something like this affects the honor and dishonor system that's in place very interesting but after that we actually get to see a duel taking place in town you can see all the NPCs watching on and then after Arthur Morgan kills the NPC his hat flies off and a kill cam hits and it's nasty and and beautiful, I'll say that. But as we proceed forward, we actually get to our first look at first-person mode gameplay. And Arthur Morgan is holding a Lancaster rifle, making his way through deforested area, and he takes out some enemies. It doesn't look too different from Grand Theft Auto V how it was. I don't really think I'll be using this feature all that much. I'm always a third-person mode type of guy with Rockstar games, and I don't think that'll be different with Red Dead Redemption 2, but I like the fact that it is there for those who want to use it. But as we can continue forward we again see another first person mode battle we have Arthur Morgan killing an NPC with his sawed off shotgun making his way through this general store you can actually see to the left that book that I mentioned earlier in the gun store and then you can also see all types of ammunition and things that you can pick up but to wrap up this video, we finally get to the big easter egg that everybody is talking about that matches up directly with Red Dead Redemption. And that is Arthur Morgan pointing that sawed off shotgun. You can actually see that the wolf's marks are on his arm and it directly aligns up with Red Dead Redemption in that scene with John Marston in the sawed off shotgun. Very nice of Rockstar to pay homage to the 2010 installment. But yeah, more than likely guys, this was our last big look at Red Dead Redemption 2. And even though it's only four minutes long, it's packed with 
with a lot of action and a lot of things going on. Let me know down in the comment section below if I missed something, but yeah, it, a lot of great new gameplay. I love to see a lot of action going on and a lot of neat little details that maybe not everybody will appreciate, but I certainly will. And yeah, we're only 25, 26 days away, depends which time zone obviously, but Red Dead Redemption 2, the hype is full steam ahead. And make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. There's going to be a lot more information coming in the coming weeks. Obviously, it's just only going to keep on picking up until release. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. And remember, Outlaws for Life.